How to create consistent characters in Leonardo AI. Hi, welcome to Tetrix tutorial. Today, we are going to show you how to create consistent characters in Leonardo AI. So this is a step-by-step -step beginner guide for everyone to follow easily. And if you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And now let's get right into it. So first things first, let me introduce to you this platform called Leonardo AI. So this is an um, platform where you can actually generate images, AI images uh, specifically, like what you can generate in Midjourney, Blue Willow, and the likes. However, the good thing about Leonardo AI is that it is web-based, unlike Midjourney, which is actually using Discord. One thing with Leonardo AI though is that it has a Discord community and in that Discord community, you can actually share your thoughts, your ideas to other people who are also creating AI images in this platform. So here are actually some examples. I'm scrolling through the platform and there you can actually see the AI images prompted or generated by Leonardo. Now, if you go to your fine-tuned models, you can actually see that um, different kinds of prompts or different kinds of AI images that was created by Leonardo AI. So here are some of the fine-tuned models that was created by Leonardo there. And if you go to your community models, these are the prompts created by different kinds of people all around the world who are using Leonardo AI. Uh, by the way guys, with Leonardo AI, they actually have a free trial, uh, but it's just very limited though. The generations are just limited and they're giving you like 150 tokens as a starter. Okay, now here you can also check your models if you have created your models. However, I have just started with this platform, so as you can see, no, build, no models have been found yet. Now, for your favorite models, this is like, for instance, you have liked a specific picture or AI image that was prompted or generated by Leonardo, and there it will actually show in that section. Now, here in the left-hand side, we can see user tools. Let's click on AI generation, and right here, you can actually start creating your first AI generation. So, just need to type in the prompt above to create your first AI image set so say for example i'm gonna make use of a character that's very well known of from a tv series like say for example a photo of an englishman of a guy rather all right let's make it an englishman though and then the name of the person which is damon salvatore so damon salvatore is actually a character from a tv series and basically you'll see how he looks like after we select the prompt or we generate the prompt so there click on generate button afterwards as you can see there are like four tokens that will be used up if you generate the picture so there now we have four images generated because in the left hand side you can actually see number of images and we have four selected so if we reduce it to three two or one then you would only have one image generated two image generated and the likes okay so let's try to um you know take a look at one of the photos that was generated so say for example this photo so as you can see below there are actually like um quick editing uh basically these four buttons right here there's like a section in the right hand side which has four different buttons those are all different kinds of upscaling so if you want to upscale the photo then you can actually try to do so Okay, so we have the creative, the HD crisp, and then we could also remove the background if we would like to. Uh, you could also unzoom the image, download and delete it. And basically, this is the original image that we have right here. Alright, now what we can do next is that when we go and try to generate another photo, we just need to use the same prompt. However, uh, you just need to add like... A specific detail that you would want to add onto the photo so say for example holding flowers click on generate and then 
there will still be four images that will um, generated and then after that if you want to only have two just click on that one however we have already generated four so four different kinds of picture will be shown so there we can see four different types of photo of the same person that is holding a flower all right now if we want to make our own character no one from like the tv show or whatnot then we could also do that by the way guys you could also change the image dimension in the left hand side of your leonardo now here in the ai generation tool we just need to add the prompt so a photo of say for example layla bloomingdale it would be best if you really try to create a name that is very unique all right and there you can add like a smiling and let's try to generate it so since we only have two photos in the number of images so only two photos will be generated so let's wait for the prompt and there you have it so as you can see there is actually a similarity although not all the features are the same but there's a very big similarity with the facial feature of Layla Bloomingdale now Let's try to create realistic and looking at the right side. Okay, now let's try to generate the prompt this time. And for the number of images, we just want to use one. Since this is a free version, um, make sure that you use your tokens very well and you need to be very smart with how you edit and use your generation tools. So there, you can actually see that there is a similarity. And it's like a fusion of the first and the second photo, basically. So, it's a very realistic photo. Now, here in the ellipses button, if you're not satisfied with this kind of generation, you can generate again. However, when you generate again, it will actually show a different photo afterwards. So, let's try to take a look at it. So, there. So, unlike the first and the second prompts, it's actually showing a different person but there's actually still the same just very tiny features that are retained so there so say for example we want to use this specific specific photo of Layla Bloomingdale what we can do is that we can also add like another thing like, for example as a character from a mobile game okay and we are going to simply generate it So once generated, you will actually see a photo of a person. Do not generate it again because it will actually show a different um, character afterwards. Okay. So as you can see, since I have double click on generate, it showed another picture. So here is the generated or the mobile um, game character of Layla Bloomingdale right so there if you try to generate it again then basically it will show a different uh, picture okay now there the most important thing that you just need to know is that you just need to have a unique name and as well as you just need to consistently use the same person or the same image and add like different kinds of characteristics so here in our personal feed you can actually see all the pictures that we have created from leonardo and basically that's about it for today's video guys i hope that you find this video interesting and thank you so much for watching